Welcome back to the channel, boys and girls. Today, we're gonna to show you something really cool. With me is Nick, one of our students. He's gonna help me out. We're gonna show you how to get from knee shield position to the dog fight. We're obviously gonna show some sweeps from there, yeah? Some pretty known sweeps. We're also gonna look at a really cool submission and defenses, his reactions, how to work those. Let's just show you, enjoy the video. Oos. Okay, so we're gonna start off in the knee shield half guard position. So, uh, just a few basic pointers in this position. I wanna keep my knee shield pretty high as to prevent my opponent from pushing it down, smashing and passing me from the outside. I like to use my elbow to reinforce it and block this far side cross arm that he wants to cross face with. I have to be aware of a few things, him leg weaving. Obviously when he gives up the underhook, I'll just go straight for his back. I have to be aware of him working up, setting up darts chokes. In that case, I will just continue my sweep. And each time he elevates his hip and comes forward too much to pressure into me, I'll just dive under, start rolling and sweeping him. So, but for now we're gonna assume my partner does a good job. I have his bottom leg trapped, so he doesn't just pop the leg up and go for a knee slice pass. So we're gonna work it. What I wanna do is I wanna dive underneath this underhook, but I'm gonna assume Nick will keep some pressure, yeah? And keep this all tight. So I need to open up some space, yeah? So I'm gonna lift this leg up and I'm gonna dive underneath behind it. It'll be a bit clearer to see what's happening with the arms. I'm gonna just cha change angles a little bit. Have Nick there. Yeah, nice. So my leg is going to kick up to open space and my arm is going to dive underneath. Now a few things we have to be aware of is if my arm just reaches in, it's easier to be collapsed. What I do, I kick up and my arm windshield wipes behind my knee and I keep pressure on my knee so it doesn't just smash my knee shield. As soon as I come up, I wanna be aware that I don't put this elbow or hand near his hand because he will just pull me down and has passed my knee shield. So to go to the dogfight, I will open up, windshield wipe beneath, throw my head against his chest and base his arm out far away. So one, two, three, we're here. My head is against his chest and I have an underhook here. Obviously, we're gonna assume that Nick will take the wizard immediately. If he doesn't, if he keeps control of my back, I'll throw my head over and start working towards his back. But for the purpose of today, we're gonna just assume he keeps the wizard. So next thing that will happen is I need to keep this arm away from him as he doesn't pull it down and I'm going to switch my legs, okay? I'm gonna ballerina toe my bottom leg, my top leg is gonna go over, I'm gonna go get it out and bring his leg to the far side. Yeah, let's do that once again. I'm gonna ask Nick to post a bit so you can see what's happening. So I have his bottom leg trapped, make ballerina toes, go over, catch his leg, pull this leg out and pull his leg to the outside, yeah? As soon as I get here, this leg doesn't circle around. I'm going to drop my second knee to the floor. I'm just gonna hip heist and throw it all the way over, yeah? One more time. So we're here, knee shield, open up, windshield wiper, pop up, base up, switch my legs. Bring this knee to the floor, yeah? And then I'm gonna drag this, pull his leg out, and hip heist all the way underneath, boom, until we end up in the dogfight position. So in the dogfight position, I have the underhook, Nick has an overhook, and I'm gonna assume he puts pressure with this overhook, his wizard, yeah, and he's trying to collapse me down. Later on, I'm gonna show you some counters he might immediately do, like the Uchimata from here, pushing me down, etc. But for now, we're just gonna continue my sweep. So what I wanna do is this hand, if possible, especially beginner level, he will keep his legs like this. I want to drop this hand down and collect his ankle, like so. Yeah, I'm gonna grab his foot and his ankle, so when he wants to base out, it's pretty stuck. This hand is going to reach for his far knee, and I'm going to push him over. If I need some extra pressure to push him over, this leg will be my base and my power. So I'm gonna put the leg out and a bit more to the front than to the back, so when he wants to push me forward, I don't need to use this arm, I keep it here. So when he wants to push forward, I'm strong. Yeah, from there on, I'm going to push all the way. I'm going to sweep Nick, yeah, and I'm in the top position. So to control his ankle, I hope it's clearly uh, visible. We're gonna show you the different angle maybe. Throw his hand to the other side, collect his knee, push him over, boom, and start working for my pass. And get my sweep. So, once again. For a first sweep, it's called the bulldozer sweep. Gonna be a knee shield, half guard, open up, windshield wiper underneath, base out, switch my legs. One, two, bring my knee to the floor, go to the dog fight. Yeah? He keeps a tight wizard, uh, sorry, tight wizard. I'm gonna base my leg out, control his ankle. If I cannot reach his, his ankle, doesn't matter. I'll just keep control here. I'm gonna throw this one to his far side knee, push off from there, get to the bulldozer, and work my pass. 
Let's show it from the back one so you can see what happens with the feet. Bring the foot over, ballerina toes out, bring his leg to the outside. I'm gonna put my knee down, switch my legs, base out, collect his ankle or his foot, grab his knee, push him over, and start working. So that's our first sweep, the bulldozer sweep. Now, a common counter for him to do is to base his secondary leg out so I cannot reach it and not push him over. You're gonna end up in, a, in like a struggle, like a scramble where he's pushing, I'm pushing, or both trying to get on top. So what we'll do then, um, so we're gonna go that way now, so a bit back, please. Yes. So in that case, we're gonna keep the same setup. Gonna be in our knee shield, half guard, open up, windshield wiper, go underneath, boom, same thing as apply. Switch my legs, get to the dog fight, boom. Now we're here. In this case, Nick wants to push me down, or wants to resist me pushing him over. He also wants to bring my head to the floor, so I either need to bring me to the floor, this hand to base, and then he might try to grab that hand, I might grab the hand. So what will happen is instead of him pulling me forward that I need to base, is this leg once again, goes there. So if he brings me forward, I have some tight pressure here, and I have my hand free. So I wanna go for the bulldozer sweep, collect his ankle and his knee, but he bases out. And now it's pretty hard for me to get there. I have to be aware of his counters as well. I'm gonna discuss that in a bit. So what I wanna do now is I wanna go back to my knees, and I wanna push him to the left, and as soon as I feel him pushing back to the right, I'm going to dive underneath. Now there's different grips you might see here. I tend to go underneath and grab underneath his tie. Yeah, I'm going to roll him over. Now, before I roll him over, I don't want my body to be here. I use my upper body strength to pull Nick over me. It's going to be pretty hard, even if he's pushing back. So what I want to do is I want to dive underneath his center of gravity. Uh, a nice detail that I've uh, been using for a long time now is instead of just throwing my upper body underneath is I'm throwing this knee to the inside of his knee. You feel it? So I want to collapse his base here, then I reach underneath, okay? So I think we'll fuck up the audio as soon as I start to move. So I'll just show it from here. I'm going to be in a dogfight. I want to push him back. As soon as he pushes back, we roll him over, yeah? Now as soon as we get there, I have to be aware that my arm is trapped here, yeah? I still have control of his leg. I want to base out, frame, work the pass, and I have to be a little bit careful with this armor, keep my head low, start working it out, and go for the pass. So the reason I throw my arm underneath his thigh is to get a good momentum and throw him over. Usually I'm, uh, I'm training, sparring, and fighting against heavier opponents, yeah? and I want to be all the way underneath that center of gravity. You can get away if you're in a dogfight, if you're pretty strong, with just falling here on your back, not using the knee, falling and just pulling him over, you might get that. But for me, I like to be technical and go all the way underneath his center of gravity, throw my knee to the outside of his knee. He's basing out, he has the wizard. Yeah, I'm pushing him back, we're like scrambling here. Throw this knee against his knee to make his hip and his base do this. And then I dive underneath and grab the outside of his thigh and throw him over. I bring my body all the way through. So I'm pushing, waiting for him to push back drop my knee, go underneath, roll, and put pressure forward, and start working on top. Okay, so these are the two sweeps uh, I mainly wanted to show you today. The setup to the dogfight, then the bulldozer sweep, yeah, easy, getting the ankle, or just getting the knee, pushing him over, tumbling him over, getting on top, and then the, I call it the gator roll, I don't know if it's a different name, or just roll under, to still get on top. It still counts as a sweep, yeah, I'll get my points and I get my position. Okay, now a few other pointers, as I promised. As soon as we're in the dogfight, uh, so yeah, come here, and have this leg trapped, there's also a very easy, uh, sneaky way to get the top position, is my foot on the, my foot that's trapping his leg might compromise his knee. I don't like doing this so much because I don't want to damage my opponent's knee in the heat of the dogfight, but he'll keep his wizard, yeah, and I'll just drag his leg all the way out, like so, and tumble him over. That's it. So let's see that from the backside. So we're in the dogfight. Opening in a position. Now this left foot is collecting his ankle. I'm gonna bring it all the way to the outside. I then switch to my knee, do the same things I just did, and I keep control of his leg. So we're here in the dogfight. Now what I wanna do is I bring his foot all the way to the outside whilst blocking his knee and bring it to the outside and just get on top, yeah? 
You can do it with the foot or with the entire leg. What happens to him is his base is like so. You're going to bring this leg all the way to the outside and tumble him over. It's a pretty easy way to get the top position, yeah? but it's pretty hard on your opponent's knee. Okay? So, next up, we're in a dog fight. Now we're going to talk about Neek's counters. So, I have to be aware of him pushing me over and I have to be aware of his uh, Uchimata move here. So what Nick wants to do is obviously use his leg and use his wizard because we're like just like a standing Uchimata but we're kneeling down now and he wants to just tumble me over, throw me over, boop, get the top position and he wants to stay on top. So how do I prevent this from happening? As I mentioned before, this foot is going to play a role if he wants to do Uchimata now. I have way more resistance for him to tumble me over and if he manages to get it, if he's just fast, he tumbles me over, immediately try to go to this elbow, get my knee outside and bring me back to the position and prevent him from doing it again, okay? So he has the Uchimata counter, yeah? He also has a rolling knee bar counter. That happens when he, uh, let's, let's go over the overhook. In that case, I obviously wanna go for the back, but usually if he's quick, he'll dive under, he'll roll, boom, and he'll catch me in the knee bar or 411. So there's an easy way to prevent this one. When I'm on the, on the receiving end of the dogfight, I like to do it as well, roll to a 411 and work uh, a saddle position. But it's pretty easy to prevent it if he goes for it. I'm just gonna throw my hips in and bring my weight forward. So he'll continue to go to knee bar. And from there on, you can choose however you wanna work or pass the position and get to the side. So each time you feel him going, diving underneath, that's when we just sprawl. You just throw the hips to the floor Bring your chest up, push forward, and it's pretty impossible for him to continue the rolling knee bar. Now we're gonna show you a cool setup and a submission from here. Just gonna skip forward to the position. We're here. Nick has a tight wizard. Now what I wanna do is I wanna go high and face, uh, bring the palm towards my face. So don't face to the inside of my hand, but the back side of my hand will face me. That brings more pressure to his shoulder. I'm going to grip either an S grip and put all the pressure on top of his shoulder like so, boom. Yeah. Now I switch as soon as I get that to a deeper grip, like a butterfly grip or a gable grip, and I put pressure on his arm with my head and make like a Kimura submission there. Now it is possible for him to limp arm out. So as soon as I go for it, he feels the pressure, he'll just limp arm, go out, and I'll switch to a seat belt and start working to attack his back, which is obviously a win uh, from my perspective. We can also prevent him from limp arming. So as soon as we hear and he tries to limp arm, I'll put my head on it. So try to get your arm out now. My head, then my head slides over his elbow. I keep my head pushing to the left, bring my elbow down, lift and put pressure. If he goes to fall down and he still wants to go for a knee bar, for example, I'll just keep the arm in control and get the submission, yeah? Another option is I wanna go for the submission like Kimura, yeah? And he, fall down, he will fall down on his left shoulder, go underneath. Now I'll just cross, get the head, bring my hips down, start working and get the top position from there, okay? So, just to sum it up real quick, we're working from the half guard knee shield, yeah? Knee shield half guard. We need to be aware that my opponent can collapse the knee shield, that he wants to cross face and pass, he might go for a dars. Each time I feel his hip rising, I can just work different sweeps. In this case, I want to get on top. So I raise my leg, a windshield underneath, throw my head to his chest and base far out. So I don't want to come to my elbow, he'll just collapse me down and pass. So in one quick motion, I go up, boom, bring everything out. He will get an overhook. I will switch my legs, bring this leg out, yes, and then hip heist all the way over, get to the dog fight. I could opt to bring this leg out, 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 hurt his knee and pass on top. I could go to grab his ankle, his knee, base out, and pummel over for the bulldozer sweep. I can dive underneath when he resists with my knee for the gator roll, I can work some submissions from here, and I am aware of his counters, like the Uchimara, yeah, or the rolling knee bar, and how to solve those. Yeah? A big thing here, guys, is as soon as he keeps pressuring, the overhook is pretty strong here, I will use my weight and my base. I'll be low and get this foot more to the front than to the back. Each time the foot is here, he will just push me forward. I'll collapse my head, I'll Uchimara me and get on top. So show that once, he'll just push me forward, boom, and get the Uchimara on top. So the best way to prevent that Keep my weight here. And then work my bulldozer here, yeah? work the knee tumble or work the gator roll to get the sweeps. 
If he gets the arm out, I'll just get to go for the back. And I can always just start working here. Palm face, uh, sorry, the backside of my hand facing me, putting pressure, sliding down and getting my head across his elbow, pushing and lifting to get the submission. If he collapses down on his left shoulder, I'll just collect his head here, bring him over. I can even work straight for a cradle here and start working from there. Okay guys, so there you have it. The knee shield into the dog fight. Yeah, getting to three sweeps, the bulldozer sweep, the gator roll when he resists, and also pulling his knee out to the outside, pushing him over, also a form of sweep. We also looked at the submission, a form of a kimura. We looked at some reactions from him, how to get his back maybe, etc. But we also looked at the part for defense, from my part. Defense on his options like the uchimara, yeah, or like the rolling knee bar. Really cool to see the whole position, offensive and defensive. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, subscribe to the channel, yeah. Put on those notifications so you get an update when we have new videos coming out. I'm going to show you a lot more cool stuff. And also, once again, reminder, at the end of the year, we're going to start our Gi series. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video. Peace.